Thank you for selecting an Infratech Duplex Stack Switch. This switch can be used with any of our dual element heaters. It offers the ability to turn each element on and off independently, effectively providing half or full power capabilities. Now let's review how to install our duplex stack switch. Infratech duplex stack switches are available in a number of configurations, including flush mount with a weatherproof cover or surface mount with a weatherproof cover. Like all Infratech heaters and controls, installation should only be done by a licensed electrician. Before installing or servicing any Infratech equipment, you'll need to disconnect all power at the main feed. Now let's begin by referring to the wiring diagram that came with this product. You can also download the wiring diagram from Infratech's technical support page or from the brochures and specs page under the resource tab on the Infratech website. Once you have the wiring diagram, you can begin installation. Let's review the wiring diagram for a dual element heater. Line one comes out of the breaker and is either tapped or spliced, depending on the wire gauge size with two wires before landing on the input of the switch. We recommend using 12 gauge wire when tapping conductors that are 10 gauge or larger. We've provided a large blue wire nut to aid in this process. Now that we've taken care of the switch input, we'll be referring to the output of the switch as line 1A and line 1B. Line 1A starts from the brass screw. You will terminate it on one of the black wires in either the heater or the high temperature flex whip, depending on whether the heater is being surface mounted or flush mounted. Line 1B will terminate on the other black wire. Now, line two of the circuit goes directly to the heater. You will terminate line two on the two red wires in the heater or the high temperature flex whip again, depending on how you are mounting the heater. After you connect your ground to the heater, the installation is complete. We hope we've given you the information you need for a seamless installation. If you still have questions, please contact us. You can also visit our technical support page for troubleshooting tips, wiring diagrams, or to access our online customer service portal.